What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This is an exciting video. It's a video about, com it's a comparison between VIP and tech metric. I've been looking to make this video for a while now and uh, I see that tech metric have some extra money that I have collected from their customers uh, to dump it on advertisement. So I can see them now all over Facebook, uh, YouTube, so we're going to make a comparison to see why VIP shop management is way better and the best fit for your shop versus tech metric. The first thing we got to start obviously is the pricing. I mean, we, with VIP, let's just make sure if we click on buy now right here. So it's $55 for the local database. You get everything. $99 for the cloud database. You get everything, including parts catalog, text messaging, and all the good stuff. Um, we'll go in, in details with it, but let's see what's their pricing. This is tech metric pricing. It starts at $99. It goes up to $299 and $399. So their idea basically is we start you with the $99 when we try to sell you on the $399. And I've seen some people are paying $399, which is $400 a month. Do some calculation right here. 400 times 12, you're paying $5,000 now for um, uh, tech metric. So it better birth, uh, it better, it better be worth that $5,000. So let's look at it. Um, start with the $99, the basic, and we're gonna compare it with VIP shop management right here. Um, by the way, before I even start, and that's very funny because I hear it all the time that tech metric was designed by shop owners for shop owners i heard in their ad and uh, apparently they're the only one where, where a group of shop owners designed and obviously hired uh, uh, programmers to make this happen in uh, and so it was designed by shop owners vip <laughs> way more way advanced way more advanced than that vip was designed by the shop owner himself and programmed by the shop owner himself. There's a big difference here. Uh, anybody can hire people and, and tell them to do certain stuff. It's a big difference. That's why when VIP was born from inside the shop uh, based on the demands that I needed. So that's why VIP will always be different than any shop management system out there. Because now I didn't hire people and tell them to program it this way. I did it myself inside the shop. But anyway, I just want to watch this uh, commercial that they have. Feel like it's time your shop got an upgrade? Shh, if you talk too loud, the whole thing shuts down. No. Your shop is in the fast lane, but your shop management software is stuck in first gear. And you can't grow your business with Stone Age technology. Oh, uh, okay, first of all, I, I did comment when I first saw this video, I did comment uh, about uh, that, I don't think that customer needs a new software. I think he needs a new computer. This computer is from like herding kittens, really greasy kittens. <laughs> Techmetric makes it easy to track their performance. Great job, Tommy. Hey! Techmetric makes everyone's job easier. Whether you're crunching numbers in the back, right, or I helping people up front, screen. or helping crunching numbers in the. I want to look at that screen for the second, and this is I I think it's a, very similar to Shop Monkey, um, where one two three four five six seven eight nine. Back. And uh, I want to. Or helping bring, people up. Go bring VIP real quick right here. And here's my issue about the screen that they have right there. Listen, if you're if if you're busy, you need to be able to see more than just one and two and three and four and five. Uh, and and that's the problem is I like it better to be listed this way. I can see the name, the car. I can search by by the car. Uh, I can search by the name, by 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 unit number by the key tag, whatever it is, by the estimate number, by the invoice number. And there's, it looks pretty, but it's not gonna be good when you're busy. We don't have time for pretty, man. I branded a business before, and it, I didn't, never had time to see, if I wanna scroll through this, this is gonna be a nightmare if I have more than 10. If I have two or three or even nine, whatever he has right here, it's not a big deal, but when I have so many, I've seen customers have 600 
estimate. I'm wondering how would that work with a 600 estimate? How would you know which one is which? With VIP, it doesn't matter. You can have as many as you want. 600, I've seen the invoices, they have minimum 100 invoice. What is that? That's not gonna work. What I'm trying to say, it looks pretty. I gotta give them credit for that. But it doesn't work in a fast-paced shop. And even the, the, the guy who's running everything by himself is gonna be a problem when you have it like this, this way. You gotta have them line up. And that's why they give you the option actually to line them up. But then the option, the default option to line them up the way we have them like in the rows um, is the option. So what the hell is this for anyway? So anyway, so don't, don't look, go for pretty and forget what you need for business. You're here to make money, not to look pretty. Just keep that in mind. Anyway, I just wanna watch that video again. Hold on, let's go back. In the back? or helping people up front. And the best part, you can learn it in a day. Yeah, 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 hold on a second. I love this scene. I love this scene, this person, uh, uh, he's using a tablet and smiling. Probably he's not even touching anything over there. It kills me. Man, make something real. When you wanna, you wanna convince people to use your software, make something real. The guy over there, he's not even hey, clicking on anything. He's wicked smart. Explain and to me hey, how is he adding, a job right there and shop supplies and, and invoice and labor and technician and then type in what is he here for let's look get at him like it. I, I get it's supposed to be it to funny you. I get this but you still gotta show me like they're trying to be funny I get that part I'm, I'm not stupid I get that part but you still gotta show me that you're able to use the software and that, team that doesn't work in no time I'm wicked smart plus your customers will love Techmetric <laughs> they can track their service in <laughs> real time and get a transparent breakdown of it. I love it. I love this part time, right here where, where he's showing her everything on the screen, right? Like uh, that's how much it's gonna be. Why don't we'll you print an Met. invoice for her? You're at the shop, print an invoice for her and give it to her so she can review it on her own uh, piece, not in front of her. So I don't I don't get this part either. But anyway, I'm not here they for that. This is just track a their funny, service in real time. It's just a funny a commercial. And get a transparent breakdown of their messed up car. Making and, it, oh yeah, everybody was talking about the guy over there is hammering. Track their service using in a real hammer time and get a transparent under under the hood. I was like, yeah, that's what you need. Anytime you see uh, somebody with a hammer under the hood, uh, you get a scream and to tell them to stop, start the car, and get the hell out of there. And I get it, I get it. Maybe they're trying to be funny again, but that's not funny when there's a hammer under the hood. If he's hammering something. You gotta run for your life. But I don't get it. I don't get what you're trying to do. They're trying to be funny, but you gotta show your your product. And uh, I don't. Me personally, I don't, get, I, don't think, I don't think that's funny over there. A stop car, making it easier for them to say. I, lo I love that lady. <laughs> a yes, resulting She's in like, a higher yes. average repair order. And instead of struggling to get the best deal on parts, save time, money, and phones with just a couple quick what? clicks. Make more and do less. It's the American dream. Our reviews speak for themselves. Here's a quick summary. Go to techmetric.com. Give your shop software a test drive and put your shop on cruise control because your business is worth it. So click this link or forward it to your boss. You know you've been bugging them for a raise. So send them this link right now. All right, so we watch Techmetric. Um, let's talk prices, like I said before anything, and let's compare the differences. Um, let's go back to Techmetric. Again, I only make these videos for two things. Number one, to take advantage of their advertisements, so, which is really cool. And number two, so I don't have to waste money and raise my prices. Uh, anytime you spend money on advertisement, this money you're never gonna get back unless you're a corporate, where 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 uh, where you get so much money and, and become like a public company. Uh, I ain't advertising because this is money that I'm never gonna get. So anyway, I want to talk about tech metrics. Just give me one second, search for it, go in details, and see what do they offer for the price. The number thing when you're looking for. Let's be serious now. The, lum the number thing when you're looking for a shop management system, you got to look at the price. It starts with the price and you go from there. 
at their $99 they have unlimited repair order we have that calendar we have that inventory we have that can jobs we have that and sublets we have that DVI we have that one-way text messaging we have two-way text messaging and digital authorization invoice uh, it's it's cool the digital authorization invoice but you can get away with it with just an email because they still have to send it in an email and he has to click on it then then the, the basic the way it works uh, the digital authorization he sends him an email and he the customer get to choose uh, which one which job that he can like he can decline certain jobs uh, from on his phone or whatever the case is but the problem with that the customer doesn't know in the every shop I'm talking about every shop small shop because if you're trying to sell him a ball joint and you have a ball joint and then a tie rod and the customer declined the ball job, but go ahead and do the tie rod. How would that work? It doesn't work. We're not trying to sell you. We're trying to fix the cars, and the, the components are connected to each other. You can say, I'll wait on the tire. That's about it. But you cannot say, I'll wait on the tie rod, but go ahead and do the ball joint, or vice versa. And this is the stuff that it's funny that we they say shop owners design that and they, they don't understand that part you cannot pick and choose when it comes to repair the car you can't pick and choose the only time we're trying to sell you stuff that means it's the only time customer want to fix that when it's broken and if it's broken it needs to be fixed that's it you can't just pick and choose that's why we're the mechanic that's why we went to school that's why we have a degree no, not a degree we have a certification we had to pass a certification that's why we have experience so when we tell you the ball joint is bad and the tire rod is bad you cannot pick and choose tell me mark i'm gonna do the ball joint don't worry about the tire rod. don't worry about the alignment don't worry about you cannot do that that's why sometimes you gotta have a conversation everyone not everyone the most of the time you gotta have a conversation I understand people trying to go with the digital. Digital in this in our area doesn't really work much because the customer have some trust issues. You gotta explain it to the customer what's going on with the car. And in the end, we gotta fix the car. I'm not selling you a can of Pepsi here. I gotta fix your car and it's gotta be fixed properly. It's gotta be safe on the road. I can't just pick and choose. And that's something that I haven't seen any shop management system seem to understand that area that I cannot pick and choose if the ball joint and the tire needs to be done I cannot pick and choose with the water pump and thermostat yeah you know what go ahead and do the thermostat and don't worry about the water pump the water pump is leaking but again that shows you the lack of not understanding the business and this is the apparently supposed to be the one who ran a business at some point, but apparently they never been they never been a mechanic before to understand how you make money, man. We're here to fix the car, and to fix the car, you gotta fix it right. And it's sometimes like when when a tie rod is loose, ninety percent of the time the ball joint is loose or the bearing is loose. They're all connected together. When one of them is loose, it puts so much pressure on the rest of the uh, of the. Uh, of the system and uh, in most times that's what happened there's a loose that's why I used to I used I, I fell into that trap too many times you, you you try to shake the wheel it's shaking I was like oh it's just a tire out wait a second is it just a tire out it's a ball joint and a bearing sometimes 90% of the time two or three component that needs to be replaced at the same time so they don't get that but anyway you get the basic stuff for $99 let's go back here so uh, at 299 so they went up Two hundred dollars, not one hundred. It's not like they have one ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. They give you the labor guide. We have this through next part. You can get it for free if you know how to take advantage. Integrated parts catalog. We have that already. Marketing reports. We have uh, we have uh, XM satellite. We bring in uh, Carfax. Uh, uh, what is that called? Loyalty program. Yeah, Carfax shop loyalty program coming in it's actually it's already integrated and inventory reports we have that videos on DVI okay it's good and bad I want to talk about DVI how is it good and bad videos you better have somebody taking videos they act like a shop owner whether he has one mechanic or three mechanics or five mechanics have the time to go and take a video 
I only did that at my shop when I knew that customer was shady. I was like, this guy looks like he's the guy who will sue you. Take a video, Mark. Take a video of everything. That's when you do it. But if I try to do that with every customer, then I'm now, instead of focusing on fixing the car, I'm focusing on taking pictures. I'm a phot photographer right now. And I've seen it all over the place, but there's people that are making money on YouTube. I understand that. At least it's making money off of it. But taking a video and picture is supposed to be when needed. Your job is to fix the car and make money. Those two, you cannot mess with those two. Now when you're taking a picture and taking a video for every single car, yeah, you're safe. Uh, if you're looking for safety, you're absolutely right, you're safe. Let me know how that gonna impact your numbers at the end of the month or at the end of the year. I've seen it, man. The, the, the shops that sells over $2 million, they don't do this stuff. Don't have time for this stuff. Why is that? Like, Mark, I don't have time for this stuff. I'll take a picture. I'll take, even, uh, he told me, even if the guy sued me and won in court, I'm okay. I'm not going to mess my whole system and, and be slow and, and make 200000 the end of the year. I'm making over $2 million. Or one, or even anybody who's selling over $1 million, there's no way he's doing the DVI thing. He doesn't have time. They do it when they need to. That's it. So don't fall into the trap. That, that DVI has failed miserably since it started. They're trying to build a, uh, a, a trust between you and the customer. No video is going to build a trust. If he doesn't trust you, that's what I did. Can you come over? It take a minute. I can show you. Seeing an eye is different than seeing in a video on a picture. You can, you can have an idea, but sometimes people still don't trust you. Bring him on. And most people do trust you, and, and it, this is your customers. They do trust you. I mean, we don't, we don't need... There's something that nobody ever said before. We really don't need to oversell anything on cars. They break down, thank God to us. They do break down. So I can find a million things in the wrong with the car without me trying to sell you something you don't need. Especially any car older than five years. Come on, man. I have a car that's three years old. It needs brakes now. Uh, it's, it's stuff that's already started getting rusted. It needs all type of maintenance now. Three years old. So you don't need to oversell. So $299 with VIP. Let's go to VIP right here. Pricing. Let's, let's look. Let's, I'm just going to compare. I'm not going to compare the local database. Like I said, it's the only difference is cloud, not cloud. We're just going to look at the, at the $99, which is the, um, which is the, um, um, the cloud. But because there's, there's, there are a website. Ours is an application. I always said that I prefer an application on a website. Website scrolled up and down. You're always lost. I've seen it. With Shop Monkey users, they're lost, literally. They're lost and paying $400 and ready to hang themselves. I saw one lady on one of the comments, because I follow this stuff on social media. Lady ready to, like, she's hurt, you can tell. She's like, I'm paying $400. And the Shop Monkey people trying to help her out. And, and everybody was like, wow, you're paying $400. Yeah, they get you, they get you. So don't think when you sign in for, for $99, you're going to be here. They, they, they're going to try to upsell you and get you to the $400 where you lost even more. So what? Look at, let's look at the $400. What's going on here anyway? Two-way text message? Really? I, I'm giving it to you at $99. Uh, Two-way text messaging at $400. Employee performance analytic. The one guy shop. Yeah, I'm sure he's looking for some performance for himself. We don't have that, by the way, in VIP bot. Somebody asked me about it, and I'll bring it in. That's just pulling data from our system. That's not a feature. Pulling data. All we have to do is pull data. Hey, I'll tell the program, go search for the most, for, go search all the mechanic, and then compare them after that. There's nothing, that's not a feature. Real-time shop dashboard. He's talking about this. This is the feature. And that's why people fall down for this. Like, this is a feature. It's right there with VIP. We're not going to sell you real-time dashboard. It's right there. How many customers you had for the past 30 days? How many est estimates have you made? How many have you cashed out? Let's keep going. 
technician board, fluid filter specs, and service bolt. I like this one. This one is really cool, but not at $399. I can get this one from O'Reilly for free. I can get this one through next part uh, for $20. Yes, I can get it through next part. Next part has this one. Let me just create an estimate real quick. And don't forget, I, sometimes I forget, I'm just gonna add a new customer this time. Just Mark Smith and just add a phone number and just save and let's just add a BSM, type in the license plate up top or scan the VIN number, save. You see, when you try to add a vehicle that belongs to someone else, we have a new feature right now. It says you can select that customer or if that customer sold the vehicle, transfer ownership. I'm gonna do that, transfer ownership, confirm, and then it's gonna create the estimate. So what I did right now, all the history for that car is still gonna come up right here under the original owner, which is Mark, but if you go back, uh, Mark Smith owns that car now, so which is really cool. But anyway, I was talking, I was trying to talk about next part, and if I go to, uh, I think, let me see who has it. So NJ does not have it. So that's the parts catalog I was telling you about, which is for free with, I know O'Reilly has it for free, um, uh, Advance has it for free, those two. Um, uh, so let's let's look up. If I look up the starter, how am I gonna find the starter for this car? I mean, let me see what what can I find for this car? Cabin filter. I'm gonna get the labor right there. So that's the labor for the cabin filter. I can add it and close it and transfer. So I, that's the labor guide. It's through next part. They are selling it for twenty dollars if you want it there, but you don't have to buy it either because some of the shops. Uh, like some of them are offering it um, which one it's, there's another one Pat boys yeah Pat boys do offer it too actually Pat boys have the loop capacity right there yeah I don't know you gotta work like they do offer it to certain customers but not three hundred and ninety nine dollars but you still get a people forget like yeah, if you want to get the capacity and all that but you still gotta have um, old data repair, uh, Mitchell One repair on demand. You still gotta have them, and you have this information there when you need them. So it's not really uh, something that you you gonna be missing out on. Um, let me go back. Yeah. So basically, they you really get nothing and four hundred dollar. And wait, wait. Uh, most popular, most popular. Wow. I want to look at VIP uh, real quick, what we have here that we missed out. Vindico license plate lookup, I'm sure they have it, but we have it. Estimates, invoices, unlimited, we have both. Emails, they have it, we have it. Service history, we have it. Service history through Carfax, we both have it. Print all chain stickers, they don't have it, we have it. It's a brilliant way. Whoever's not taking advantage of it and doing all changes, I feel sorry for you because I don't make any money on that. I just added this to make your life happy and they're doing it it looks fantastic it's easy to peel we fix that problem and it lasts longer and it's professional and make your shop look professional cash drawer we have it they don't have it um general inventory we both have it can job we both have it quick button they don't have it we have it calendar and scheduling we both have it digital vehicle inspection we both have it there is a little bit more advanced where you can add video who gives a rat ass um, uh, message templates, I'm sure they have it. Scan driver license, they don't have it. We have it. It's a big, very big deal. I get it. Some people don't get it or don't use it, but some people do and love it. So I don't know. Print, print computer checks, they don't have it. We have it. Uh, smart parts lookup, we both have it. Reports, yeah, I'm sure we both have everything. Integrated phone, we have it. Fleet accounts, I'm sure they have it, but we have it. VIP self checking app, they don't have it. We have it. Whoever not using it. He's missing out. Integrated payments through Square. They don't have it, we have it. I'm sure they have some weird uh, terminal that they use, but they don't have Square. We have Square. We're the number one who did it, and we continue to be the only one who has it to any auto repair shop management system out there. And it really works good. The rate's still the cheapest. Uh, PayPal is more expensive. Um, uh, and any new company, like unless you have something something from the bank, like Chase or, or yeah, probably have better rate. But 
if you go through them probably it's 2.6 plus 10 cents and no contract no no contracts no hidden fees there's with contract and you gotta pay on the device the device costs like two what is it I believe 299 or something like that yeah you can look it up parts lookup parts ordering we have it they have it under 299 text messaging two-way um, we have it they have it under 399 to get it two-way for users free update data will be on the cloud so going back to to tech metric yes I would definitely go with VIP if you're a small shop again if you're a small shop and when I mean by small shop man, I have shops that sell up two point I think the most that I've seen the shops that sell 2.7 million dollars usually they're tire shops but they do everything or, or tire shops or like tire a body shop and uh, so don't feel bad if you're not selling this the only way to be able to sell 2.7 million obviously on one shop you got to be doing like body shop and repair and tires all all combined yes you can but I have shops that sell this the average shop sells half a million dollar a year if you're less than a half a million dollar and you're trying to sign up with this literally you're making a big mistake um, I would never do that um, if you are between half a million and, and half a million to one million I definitely sign up with VIP I, VIP is still the best answer for you because you can scale with VIP you can have multiple shops with VIP um, the cloud is $99 if you cannot afford $99 we still have a better option uh, $55 you can always start with $55 and then upgrade to the $99 if you feel like you're not computer savvy then do the $99 you're getting the parts catalog you're getting two-way text messages you're getting the, uh, the inventory you're getting the dashboard is bragging about you're getting uh, uh, digital vehicle inspection you're getting uh, calendar and appointments marketing we have that um time clock is coming i know i haven't done it but it's coming the, the database is already in it i just haven't done it labor guide is inside uh through through next part eventually i'll have a solution for that but for the right price the only reason i'm holding back is for the right price i could have added it a long time ago i just don't want you to pay this price because it doesn't make any sense to want to charge me a high amount just to tell me it's 2.6 and you're wrong anyway so I don't want that. That's why we don't have labor guide. It's, it's personal, to be honest with you, because I used to be a mechanic. I never went with the labor guide. Labor guide is there to help you to get an idea. You better adjust your hours, otherwise you lose money. If it says 1.3 and the bolts are lasted and you put 1.3, you lost money because it took you three hours. How many owners out there right now, shop owners out there, where you sold the job for two hours? The book says 1.1. You sold it for two hours end up taking you five hours how often that happened mark tons of times so you better level you better have in the end an average where your book where you, when you overcharge and less charge balance each other to to in the in the end come up come up come out as a winner and if you don't you will lose my friend and your bills is gonna come and nobody gives a shit so you better watch your business, you better watch your money where it's going, $399 and you're not selling half a million dollars, what are you doing to yourself? What are you doing? And you say $99 more, I start with the $99, you're not getting everything, you don't even have parts catalog, you don't even have, uh, what is it, dashboard, two-way text messaging, you don't have the most features in it, parts, uh, parts online ordering, inventory report I don't know like I don't get it when they split it uh, I'm gonna take this feature out which is doesn't make any sense especially this one right here that pisses me off the most doesn't make any sense and I'm gonna sell it at $399 in the end Techmetric it's a good software I'm not saying it's not a good software but VIP wins VIP flow is faster faster than Techmetric faster than Chop Monkey faster than the chopware, old data, uh, Mitchell one, it's faster, it works better, it was created from inside the shop, for the shop, that's how I did it, and that's why everybody, that's why we have 30, over 1300 shops, use it every day, and they'll never leave, I'm being honest with you, they'll never leave, 99.99% of our customers, they don't leave, 
they have lists for, for they, they subscribe, they, they, they have, I know we were selling it before, a one-time payment, even new one, it didn't matter. They want the product, they love the product, people are signing up for cloud, people sign up for the $55, they want it, they love it, and they're making the right decision. When you get Shop Monkey or TechMetric, you're making the wrong decision. Because you're small, man. You gotta you gotta leave some room for you to grow. You can't grow with this. You can't grow with this. And it looks more beautiful, by the way. So I'll leave it at that. Everybody, when when I when you download VIP and finally open it on your computer, the first thing you say to yourself, "Wow, what is this?" And you gotta love it. Forget about scanning VIN number. We have that. I don't know. They don't even talk about that. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope I helped somebody because the other video with Shop Monkey is helping a lot of people. And I'm glad I did that. And that's why I'm making this for, for TechMetric. Making sure that, you know, give you the advice because I'm a shop. I used to be a shop owner, and, but I used to be a mechanic before that for 15 years. I ran my shop for seven years. It was a successful shop and I sold it to my employee and he's still running it till today. So keep that in mind. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time. Uh, thanks for watching.